interest rates sticky and the Fed seemingly urging patience. Let's ask Adam Parker. He's the founder and CEO of Trivariate Research and a CNBC contributor live as you see at Post 9. Nice to see you. Always good to see uh, you. Did we clear a big hurdle last week for the next leg higher for the rally? Do you think getting through the Fed and Powell was, you know, taken to be pretty dovish? I think so. I mean, I think there's three reasons to be bullish. One is the gross margins for the average company uh, have troughed and are going up. Two is the Fed's ultimately going to be accommodative, whether it's two, one, three, it's higher probability than, than, than they're not. And I think three is, I, I think you can create a scenario where earnings grow for several years in a row, and so you grow into the valuation. The bear case, I think, is still the consumer falls apart more than people think, China's a disaster, or the whole quantitative tightening is a problem. And I still think the three bull points are better than the three bear points, and that's the, that's the leg we're headed higher. All right, so we're at 5,200, let's call it 5,225. Yeah. You had Oppenheimer go to 55, uh, HSBC go to 54. So, you know, the chase is on. People are raising their price targets as, right. the, as the market keeps chugging along here. What seems reasonable to you for some, a level that we could reach between I, now and the end of the year? I think 10% per annum return is a good, is a good base Not case. Not from here for forward, but from, for the full year I think or 12, for, from more, more than 10? Yeah, I think 12 months forward, you get 10% from here. You know, over the long term, equities have gone up kind of 12% per annum over time. And, you know, I could see people saying, well, I don't like the starting valuation, but the margins are going to go up. And I think that's what drives multiple expansion. And as we talked about before, there's not a lot of other asset class around the world that give you access to the best 20 U.S. equities and the power that they grow. You, I know what's going to work for the next 10 years, so do you. It's AI, it's software, it's life sciences. You want to be in U.S. equities to get exposure. So, yeah, I'd like 10% higher over a year from now, sure. But even if inflation continues to come down, margins are going to continue to go up? Yeah, in fact, that helps them in many cases because their input costs and their labor costs um, can come down and they can get productivity and that might offset you know price erosion that they have depending on the business so it's, it, the way we show up for the top 3,000 US equities we analyze at Triverit it looks to us like margins trough July of 23 for the median company and already coming up a little bit and I think that explains part of the reason the equity markets up is margins go up and it's a bad idea to short stocks where margins are expanding I asked the question at the top of the program whether we're ignoring you know these risks whether the market is too convinced that three rate cuts are coming, even though that's where the Fed dot plot was at, you know, last week. Bostic sort of dialing back his own expectations. He sees one. What if it isn't the three that the market's expecting? Does I it think, matter? No, it doesn't matter. And, and the reason I said is because it probably means the economy is good. And I think we're in this pocket, you know, this crazy world where good news on the economy will be good for stocks and bad news will be bad. And so if they only do one or two instead of three, it's because the economy is in relatively good shape. And we don't need it. I, I think it'll be okay. What I don't want them to do is the seven that was in the price a few months ago when we were all saying that seems overly onerous. And I think the challenge remains, everyone seems to be analyzing history. And when you analyze history, you're going to put TMT crisis, the financial crisis, COVID, and you're averaging in something that is unlikely to be where we are today. So I think they're going to be accommodative. I just don't think it, it's going to require uh, multiple cuts. And if it does, it probably means we go lower first before we get the accommodation.